Hey Leo, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm back with your no contact secret sexual fantasies. Alright. <laughs> Alright y'all. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, so we just got not too long ago got done with Aquarius. Some of the same energies is popping up. So let me go ahead and cleanse right quick. But yeah guys, this is for um, if it's somebody with that you've been out of contact with no contact so that's your warning right now because it's like people will see or hear me say that and they'll proceed to say i don't want nobody from my past back that's cool i'm okay with that because i don't want nobody from my past back but if that's the case then there's no need for you to watch this reading you know what i'm saying like unless you're just curious as to what they have to say and that's the reason why i really post this i'll just be trying to switch it up y'all you know a lot of the times, new love don't come up even when we try to bring up new love simply because even if you over a past person, if that person ain't over you and they still thinking about you and, you know, reminiscing and they all up in your energy, then that's what's going to show up. It's who's most prominent in your energy. Even if you met somebody new, if your ex is still like so saturated in your energy like it's gonna be hard for somebody new to come up so you know that for you guys means do some cord cutting okay if you feel like your exes just keep showing up in every single reading and you tired you over it everything that happened between y'all was in the past you got the resolution that you need and you ready to move forward then just know it's time to cut cords because that person's still thinking about you it's kind of blocking your energy from allowing new energy to come in all right so that's my suggestion to those of you that's tired of listening to tarot readers that's bringing up the same old ex or somebody you don't want to deal with no more, you know? Okay. All right. So, yeah, again, I am getting a lot of the same energies from Aquarius, and y'all are the opposite sign of Aquarius. So let's see what come out. Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, please use me as a vessel of clear, concise, channeled messages for... Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the month of July 2021. I mean, whoever this is, it's like they must have a lot to say because when I say nothing, is staying in the deck. Every single time I even move my hands to try to calibrate it, something flipping out, all right? So first things first, Leos, can you give me your undivided attention? You probably can't see that, and it's cool because honestly, the handwriting is real big anyway. So you probably won't even be able to see it. But it says, can you give me your undivided attention? So this is somebody that feels like your attention is on everybody else but them. Whether you got other suitors, whether you are a business person or you just to, like work focused right now, this person feel like you don't have time for them. And that could be the initial reason why this person and you lost contact. Can you forgive me? I have trust issues. I don't know if I can commit. And guess what? That's all. <laughs> That's definitely linked with this whole, can you give me your undivided attention? So this person, they already feel a sense of, maybe they feel like they always got to play second fiddle in every relationship. They can be with people that like constantly put friends, family, work, and everything else above them. And you know, they met you and it's like you didn't get them the attention that they needed i don't know what happened from there but again whether they left you left for somebody else or ghosted the situation it definitely was because this person felt like they didn't have, they wasn't the most important thing in your life and i know a lot of y'all like what they got to be the most important thing in my world you know i don't know what you were working on but that's important to this person okay i've been having a lot of deja vu lately okay so whether this person is having flashbacks of y'all connection or they having flashbacks of a past life i feel like it's more of a past life energy okay they all try to be you but nobody compares all right so they got people that know about you all right put it like that so whether you are ex to this individual and like I said, you didn't have the time to get this person all your undivided attention. Um, I feel like the people that they've met after you, they know who you are. They've likely seen photographs. So whoever this is, they definitely brag on you. They brag on, you know, yeah, this used to be my man. This used to be my girl. You know, um, I, I don't know why they show other people your photographs because that really just starts drama, to be honest with you. It creates 
hidden enemies for the other person for one so let's say it's you and they showing pictures of you to their new people this probably starting beef with those new people without you even knowing about these new people so they know what you look like but you don't know what they look like so people really need to stop doing that when you move on just move on leave that ex person alone you know what i'm saying if you want to look at their pictures look at their pictures but you ain't got to be showing everybody in the streets they mama daddy mama daddy um, your ex picture because you don't know what kind of drama you starting in somebody's life by doing that and i ain't saying that's you leo whoever this is to you it could be them showing your pictures this person say they stay away for your protection <clears throat> and that could be because they know that they got people around them now that don't like you okay they definitely don't feel like they can speak their truth because that was like a big cough okay i miss the taste of your lips this person is kissing you you know, you brought the sunshine that illuminated my life. So, yeah, I see this person finding out who they truly are through you. I, so, you could be like a gatekeeper because that's kind of like my gatekeeper card. Like, sometimes you don't even have to do anything or try real hard. But just your presence in an individual's life will, like, give them the encouragement and inspiration to actually stand in their truth and be who they came here to be. And you could have been that for this person. You could have been the catalyst to this person's awakening, standing in their truth, walking in their purpose, um, and all that. So, this person's sick as hell. They can't believe that this is the end. Maybe they didn't think it was going to be, but maybe something has happened that has shifted the energy between y'all, you know. This person definitely determined to be something bigger. And they feel like it's because of you. I mean, honestly, you can't take all the credit. But again, if this person has some light within them and you like, damn, like, did you really know that you this and you that? This person might not have known that. Nor may, or they could have been in a position where they never had nobody in their life that really gave them the encouragement to be who they truly meant to be. But you, you came into their life and I feel like it was like spirit pushed you in. Like it was like, go, it's time, go, you know, help them, show them who they are. They don't know who they are. They minimize their worth and you going to shine a light on this person's true worth for them. This person is saying they had an eye on a prize. So a part of them is definitely moving in a sense where if they ever bump into you again, you're going to be very proud of them. Okay. Ooh. You're going to see a big difference. I get lost in your eyes. Let's get a couple more and we'll start with the love messages. High cheekbones. So this person loves your eyes. They love your cheekbones. I get a little mad when I see you with somebody else. We already kind of get that because it says, can you give me your undivided attention? So no matter what it was that was taking up your time outside of them, it's like this person just wants you all to their self. And you probably wouldn't have minded that. But I feel like it's something about this person's trust issues that didn't even... They didn't feel comfortable like letting you know how truly lovey-dovey and how truly clingy they can be because they probably thought that you would hate that. You know, they probably didn't even know that. They, they could, like, even if you do like your space, they could have been an exception to that. Like, maybe you would have wanted to be with them all day, every day, too. You know, but they never even expressed that. And you could have been in the time of your life where you was really goal-getting and it wasn't no offense. Like, you wasn't trying to you know, put anything above them, but I kind of get this energy like it was like you was in your season. You was in your season and you probably felt like you just had to grind. Like, I got to grind. This is my opportunity to come up and I'm going to do that. Rather, it was working hard for a promotion, working hard on a project, working hard on something that you just truly believe was a part of your destiny. You know what I'm saying? And this person felt like they was on a back burner because of that. And they probably like walked away from you. Um, this person don't know how to take accountability. They feel bad about walking away from you, even though they feel bad about walking away because now they realize that you had your eye on a prize at that time. And now they got their eye on a prize. And maybe people don't understand that. Maybe people not understanding why they so focused or why they are so like focused on a goal. And now they in that same energy. So this could have been like a year ago. Like maybe the cycle for you was a year ago. And now for them, they in their season. And so they feeling and experiencing the same thing that you was. And they understand now why they couldn't have your undivided attention. All right. This person is saying, I love that flowing hair. Okay, so, and they saying it fits snug like a glove. That's how I know it's mine. All right, so this person, they definitely want to claim, like, 
possession over you. Like, they feel like y'all belong together. <clears throat> they definitely feel, like I said, some past life energy. So, this can be a past life soulmate for you, Leo. Okay? But at the end of the day... At the end of the day... It's something about this energy that this person feel like this is the end. And hopefully we can find out why they feel like it's the end right now. Like y'all have come to the end of the road. And maybe it's because they left you behind. Because they didn't understand your goals. Like they didn't understand why you were so goal oriented. They just felt like, damn, like take some time off. Take days off. When, when it's time to chill with me, stop working. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe they wasn't used to an independent person, whether you a man or a woman. They could have been, they could have been used to the type of relationships that was just like straight up codependent. Every like every single second got to be spent together, you know. And then they meet you, and maybe you gave them they, you gave them too much space, and it made them feel like if they express how lovey dovey they really want to be with you, that you would think that they was clingy or something. You know, I don't know what they was thinking, but they was thinking something. They didn't bring it to your attention though. And they feel sorry about that. I'm just seeing 11-11 just now. Okay, so let's see. All right, Holy Divine Spirit. So how does this person feel romantically about Leo on the fence? Their mind is made up about something. They made some type of decision. And that decision could be to come towards you because this person got a burning passion for you. Like they are unable to get rid of the magnetizing, intense, electric energy that pulls this keep gravitating this person towards you you know this person want to be nose to nose i'm telling you this wow twin flames came straight out it clapped out like pow this person knows you they're a twin flame and they got so much passion for you i mean they want to be close you see this they want to be nose to nose with you they do this person got a lot of passion for you. They've been scratching their head over the weeks, the months, however long y'all been apart, Leo. Because they've been trying to figure out why is the universe speaking to them so much about this connection. Maybe this has never happened before. I'm telling you all type of songs. And it could be just new songs dropping out the blue. And word for word, it could be speaking on y'all situation. Because I'm getting listened to the song that's in your heart. So I definitely get that telepathically you guys can connect through music, you know, and maybe this person even sends you music through the airways. So um, like I said before, uh, all of a sudden you could start to like witness certain songs like in your YouTube algorithm or even on Pandora Shuffle that just remind you so much of you and this person's connection and you be like damn what the hell well this is what this person is going through and they be like scratching their head like oh my god i'm trying so hard to forget about this person i gotta move on or whatever they've been thinking but whatever the case is the universe ain't letting them forget you you know so if they was in the middle of trying to make a decision as to whether they should stick with you or rock without you or whatever they was thinking of um this person is deciding like man my heart feel drawn you see it's like that heart center that's being i can i can feel your heart or i can hear your heart calling out for me i think that's mario crying out for me so maybe you guys have even cried over each other this person is tired like they pick they might have picked or they might have been used to situations where the love wasn't unconditional and that's why they didn't know the difference they they may have thought that they can just dispose of this energy move on and feel the same way about somebody else but they realized and i don't know how many people they dated since you or if they never got a chance to really date you because you know they could have had already had circumstances or whatever the case but what I do feel is that whether this person was single or in a relationship, they had already experienced a perpetual cycle of the same type of relationship. They experienced a certain type of energy signature where they never experienced true, undying, unconditional love. Like they was, they, this is uncharted territory for them. So it's definitely a new energy for them. They never felt that before. They never experienced it, nor have they ever given unconditional love to anyone. worth the wait this person is hoping 
that no matter how much time and space has been between you guys, that your heart is still in sync with theirs. They really do hope that, you know, because it could have took them a lot of time to gain this clarity, but this person has. The clouds are clearing away from the sky, and if you notice, it's purple and blue, and that's giving me total crown chakra, um, third eye, and throat, because I really do feel like not only was this person unable to really process how they was truly feeling because they was trying to process their emotions through logic they couldn't make sense of something but it's not really meant to mix the two so this person might have made a head over heart decision they did something that they felt made sense and you know they realized oh it put them in a lot of regret it put them in a very dark place and they had to listen to their heart to guide them out of this dark place, you know? Because at first, they was trying to convince themselves, no. No, 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 we no, no. But Cupid is like, <laughs> you sure about that? Are you sure about that? No? No? Really? You know? Now this person is coming. Because you know what? They tired of the toxic relationships, the conditional love that they've been given. And they realize that they breaking their own heart by staying in these situations where they got to basically be in a war zone every fucking day, yo. Okay? They realize that something that was supposed to be forever, something that was supposed to be true love, the minute that they hit some fucking money issues, that person was out the dough. And that's real talk. Now this person want to come and explain. You can see this person with their hand extended. Okay, so they definitely do want to talk to you about what's happened. I feel like this person want to explain a lot because I don't feel like they want to just start at what happened. Why did you walk away? Why did you leave me hanging? I feel like this person want to get deeper than that. They might um, talk about that, but I feel like that's the tip of the iceberg when it comes down to this person's experiences when it comes to love. I feel like whoever your person is, they've been through so much that they probably want to first start with that. You know, they might come in, break the ice, talk about some new things that's happening because I see this person got their eye on the prize and they ready to evolve in life. And they may be telling you about some of the things that they've been experiencing and the ways that they've been evolving and just getting to know themselves better and becoming more self-aware and becoming aware of their worth and becoming aware of the vacancy of love that they have for themselves. Therefore, you know, for you as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some sexual energy because it's a lot of passion here for sure. And this person, is they gain in clarity. Their intuition is kicking in because for a long time, they was in a black, they was in a dark place. And so their intuition and their higher self was being overshadowed by ego, dark thoughts and everything else that you can think of that will swallow a person whole fear. You know, um, fear of a lot of things, abandonment, more toxicity, all of that. You know, they didn't feel like this was going to be any different than anything else they ever experienced until they walked away and then they realized the contrast when it comes down to their experiences outside of you versus you. Okay, so let's get some sexual energy for Leo. What is this person's secret sexual fantasies towards Leo? What is the secret sexual fantasies? Okay, so this person definitely went towards a karmic or they went, they got sucked back into a karmic cycle. I feel like this person had three different other partners in rotation outside of you. Okay, and they realized that there's a difference between quality and quantity. So they had a bunch of different women for different things or a bunch of different men for different things. But they realized that you're the equivalent to all three of those men or women. Okay, and this person was so frustrated when it comes down to like, formulating and being able to verbalize or even you know conducting some type of text message to tell you i'm so sorry like i didn't really realize your significance and importance when it comes down to my journey and who i'm meant to be i should have protected this union more this person had a hard time verbalizing that they did i want to get one on twin flame Let's get one on twin flame. I ain't even been clarifying it like that. Y'all, this person wants to break the ice because they realize now they want to heal this connection. They've been silent for a long time because I feel like they had to sit on 
for one, they had to heal from a heartbreak is what I'm hearing. They had to heal from a heart heartbreaking situation because I feel like before this this uh cycle of three or more partners that they was keeping in rotation, that's when a heartbreak happened. And so they was using this, like having multiple partners as a way of healing and escapism so that they didn't have to address any issues or heartbreak. Okay. And so this person now, instead of them like using like egoic things like, yeah, I got three. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that one broke my heart, but now I got three. Because I feel like that was the reason why this person did that. It wasn't about they need three people to satisfy them or whatever the case. It was all about proving something to possibly an ex, number one, and to themselves, and to their homeboys, and to their family, their friends. Whoever witnessed the fact that this person went through a heartbreak with some type of, it could have been a childhood sweetheart, high school sweetheart, or just somebody that they was with that they felt dissed by. But this person's feelings never left you. And this person know that they broke your heart. They know that there's a possibility that they can step towards you and that the love that you once had from them, um, you might it might be tucked away now. You know, they wonder that. They kind of wonder that. And I feel like that's the reason why they keep writing out these text messages or they keep, you know, rehearsing these lines that they want to say to you and then just saying, just chucking it. Like, fuck it. I don't even want to try because they probably think that I'm not shit, you know, or whatever. They, they thinking a lot of negative thoughts. I can feel it. The energy is coming through strong with this regret energy, you know, but this person definitely wanting to make plans. I feel like they want to, they don't want to come off as thirsty. They want to just do it really light. So this person may want to try to like, Instead of them trying to link up with you at the night, they, they probably want to like go out to brunch or lunch or something where it's broad daylight and possibly even where it's outside. So if they take you to a spot for lunch, it's more than likely going to be like an outside setting, which I feel is going to be beautiful as long as it's not too hot or raining. I feel like it's going to be great. It's going to be beautiful. You guys are going to have an opportunity to just bask in each other's energy, catch up, you know, and then if you guys decide to kind of dip off and be together, you know, one-on-one. One, then you guys have had an option but I feel like this person genuinely wants to catch you up because they've gotten themselves grounded they've balanced themselves out and I feel you know sometimes people will give you more credit than what's due because at the end of the day we are being used as a vessel of something and so the, the thing is you probably would be feeling like oh my god like I don't want them to give me credit and that's true you know that's the humble side of you Leo where you just like okay I ruled a heart and it was on my heart to come into this person's life and show them that they were worth something that they were worth their weight and go that they do have um, a significance to the world to humanity to themselves even to the people around them whether they know them or not you know but with this temperance card here you was like an angel sent into this person like to them that's how they see you they see you as somebody that got them balanced it's like you know i mean and i'm not and i'm not saying chemically imbalanced but there was something here where this person you know it was either one or the other that they was using more. And I feel like it was practicality. Like, I feel like this person really felt like they couldn't really be themselves on an emotional level because they've been with people that's mostly worried about stability, practicality, and didn't really care about emotions. And that's why this person felt the need to kind of press down and suppress whatever it is that they felt for you instead of expressing that. You know, um, and as soon as they even felt like something in your life was more important than them, they just scattered because it was like you know i don't want to compete with leo when it comes down to anything they work their clients their friends their family nothing i just want this person to myself and that's how they saw it they didn't see it as they wasn't being supportive they saw it as they wasn't important enough to you okay and this person was very stubborn, but I feel like now they want to come out of this stubborn energy. This person is very frustrated. Um, they they have a lot of fear right now, and I feel like they do kind of got to get out of that energy. But I do feel like right now, it's like there's a, there's a sense of frustration. This person is very worried that things are not going to progress forward in this connection, and they're very passionate about you. It's like they want to wrap you up. They want to protect you. They want to take action towards you, okay? And I feel like they have a lot more confidence to pursue you now than they did before, 
okay? They are getting out of a heavy situation is what I'm seeing. So I don't know if this is something that they got themselves into after you or if they already had an existing current situation. But I am seeing that something was a karmic cycle and something ended with the lack of justice for them, you know? So they could have very well been treated unfairly as it pertains to a situation and they could be like intuitively being led in a brand new direction and now they choosing that new direction to be you <clears throat> they realize there's no more growth wherever they were you know so let's see let's get another round so we can see what they truly truly feeling because right now it's like they know that you they cup uh, they you they cup uh you they cup of tea all right with the Nine of Cups here, it's letting me know that you really do satisfy this person on a whole nother level emotionally. You know, you check all this person's boxes. Okay. I do feel like this person won a lot of foreplay. But before that, it's like they want to take you for a ride. They just want to roll the windows down. You know, uh, just, they want you to just be able to lay your seat back and relax and just talk and go for a nice ride. And then they hoping that you guys can spend some time in nature where you guys can have some passionate foreplay here. Okay. Now, it's something about you. Like, I, I'm just hearing that you will knock out. Like, you are a knockout. You cause such a transformation in this person's life. And nobody has ever had that level of influence on them, okay? But yeah, just as much as you are the gatekeeper in this person's life, they are very sexually attracted to you. I feel like this person want to play roles. Like, this person wants to play roles. They love your genuine, you know, um persona and character but they also love your alter ego you know they know that you can go from being somebody that's innocent to somebody that's very sexy and regal you know what i'm saying not just this innocent little docile person yeah yeah y'all got different type of sex styles that's what i'm saying <laughs> okay i feel like this person even want to put on a show for you or they can want you to put on a show for them so they might want a little bit of strip tease yeah but you listen here's the thing and i'm noticing this with a lot of people okay and it could be because the collective most of you guys have been celibate for a really long time. And if you guys have been with this person, it was like this was the one. This is like the first person you've been with in a long time or the only person you've been with over a long sp uh, span of period of time. Because you guys are coming up as somebody that's so innocent. And my thing is I'm getting this in multiple readings where somebody's persona in the outside world is like viewed as so like angelic. But it's like, you know how to turn up and be that little devil in the bedroom, for real. Because with this Hierophant in reverse, it's like you guys can be into some really taboo things, for real. Okay? But yeah, this person, they miss your body. You know, um, you're going to catch them staring, you know. And maybe you did some things, you did some body attunement. You know, it is the summertime, so... Uh, a lot of people have worked on their bodies and got summer ready before it got really warm outside because it's looking like, you know, when you disrobe, it's going to get this person a pleasant surprise. And it's either that they really missed your body or you look different. You know what I'm saying? Like you could be doing some of everything. But this person definitely like, your, like the view of you from the backside, okay? But they want it all. <laughs> they want it all. I feel like this person been watching you for quite some time. Like, this person almost like a little creep. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't know if this person been peak timing on your, uh, on your house. Like, literally looking through your windows at night. Because I'm getting a lot of that energy here. I'm not gonna hold you. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting a lot of peepy energy where this person is, like, peeping through peepholes. You know, um, I don't know. But at the end of the day, if this bay, you ain't going to find it creepy at all. Okay? This person want to put an end to the silence and transform this for the better. They want to try some things in the bedroom that y'all haven't tried before. So, if y'all foreplay was really limited, this person wants to... That's going to be the main thing. Like, I don't know how long the main course is going to be because I'm telling you, y'all foreplay going to be stretched out. I'm seeing a lot of it. I am both ways, okay? 
I'm hearing music, candlelight, rose petals, and just basking in the energy of each other. Like I'm getting like a lot of kissing, a lot of like, um, you know, kissing all over the body. You know what I'm saying? But really, really taking y'all time. So um, this is going to be a night for the books for y'all, Leo. I'm definitely getting that. Somebody been waiting on this for a long time. They've been watching, waiting. They've been on standby. And they've been waiting for their confidence to build up so that they can come back towards you. They've been waiting to heal so that they can come back towards you. But y'all, I keep getting the King of Pentacles. This person, they they not only do they want to come in for the sex, but this person really wants to offer a commitment to you. Because I'm seeing a lot of nakedness. Whenever I see, like I said, butt stark nakedness, wow. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be like a shock, all right? So, I don't know how long y'all ain't been together, Leo. But upon that initial contact, I feel like both of y'all are going to be shocked. You know what I'm saying? So, it's going to be a big shock to both of y'all, for sure. So, I don't know if that's just like, damn, this better than I remember or what. But I'm seeing no limit. No limit. And I'm telling you, this sneaky person, your person, it's like, if you the type of person that when you're being pleasured, your eyes is closed, you're not paying attention, this person watching you. They watching to see how you react to every kiss, every lick, every touch, every stroke, because they want to learn your body inside and out. All right. So, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And follow me on Instagram because I do these every other week over there, every other Wednesday. But I just decided this month to do it on YouTube. So, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join me on my Instagram as well at Dominique Valentine. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.